we have sort of been off weekend for the vlog it's been like every other day that is because the Thursday vlog as of now right now in this moment that I'm living in you guys are sort of in the future uh, this moment that I'm living in right now Monday morning 1022 Thursday's not even up yet so <coughs> excuse me so I didn't want to like bog myself down with four vlogs that I had to get up in one day because I have not had time to edit this weekend so this Coffee cake is delicious. I was gonna get up and run this morning. The truth is you've got the people who are actually runners and who are motivated to get up in the morning and run. And then you've got people like me who pretend to be runners and desire to be runners and fantasize of being runners, but our alarm goes off and we just hit snooze. Reflexive cinema it gives you a look into what it's like to actually set up the camera and leave and all the fancy stuff about making movies. It's not really reflexive cinema because that involves like shooting a camera, shooting a film crew. But this is all I've got. I've got me. This vlog is me and the camera. That's it. <laughs> See, I don't like to argue. I'm definitely an even keel kind of guy who just avoids confrontation, avoids anything where I have to raise my voice or like make a claim at somebody. But philosophy classes have really taught me how to argue well with like good premises and good connections between my arguments. And I just experienced one of the worst philosophy arguments I've ever had to sit through. And it was just, it's like, painful having to watch people like go through the same cyclical arguments that mean that make no sense and that mean nothing and that just like I said I hate arguing but I'm becoming very good at it obviously I'm at St. Monica's we have fall retreat planning tonight fall retreat is next weekend not that we're worried or freaking out, we're just trying to get final details ready. A uh, minor drastic change of scenery tonight. We called an audible, no St. Monica's Fall Retreat meeting. We're actually just gonna go to a restaurant and eat because we're all hungry. We have some awesome, awesome ideas. Like the best, the best place to think about retreat, we've now figured out is Mexican restaurant. Like ideas are just spilling out. So we're gonna take black lights, black t-shirts. Yeah. And oh wait, we can't, we can't tell them because the teens watch this. It's okay. And it's gonna be like, you're in surprise now. You're gonna expect it. You don't know what to expect. Now just to make a retreat happen. The, the easy part, right? Thank you. Oh, wow. It's cool. Sometimes you gotta take a second to stop and do something as simple as find a good spot to look at the stars. You know, life is too crazy. You gotta, you gotta take a few moments to just settle down. 
It's like an exciting but stressful time of year for us. As I already mentioned, we have fall retreat this coming weekend and this week leading up to retreat. Any any retreat is just madness. You know, you're getting final details ready, you're making stuff, you're planning schedules, you're printing off things that you need to print off, you're planning games. But this one is particularly exciting. We've noticed uh, for you teens who are in the youth group who are watching this that you guys really, really just teenagers love community they love being around people that they enjoy so we're we grasped onto this for this fall retreat we're really really honing in focusing on making sure that one your community is a welcome and safe place at saint monica's and two that you are improving yourself you're looking interiorly saying how can i pray better how can i be better in this community and the two work together to be one you improve yourself while you improve the community so i am really excited because this is just something that i'm passionate about i'm passionate about people and the relations amongst people and yourself and it's just a, a interesting and like not as heavy like not as dense topic a topic that you can really just dive into be practical about and just have fun like legitimately it's just fun so this weekend it should be an absolute blast we have a lot of crazy fun ideas that are out of the ordinary we're excited now just to execute them that's the issue it's just getting it ready so that we can execute correctly Tomorrow is election day. I don't particularly need to get sleep to have a successful election day, but I need to get up early to be able to vote in the morning. I don't really share my political views on this vlog because I don't think it's the place to share it. You, know, you can escape the craziness of this American election. Pray for this election. It's, it's a mess. But uh, I am gonna hit the hay, wake up early, and vote in the morning. So choose virtue, choose life. So long for that. <laughs> I had one goal for my day today. I was gonna get my hair cut. It's getting a little long, but it just it never happened. That's how my days go. I plan. I have goals and. Sometimes they happen, but most times, like today, it just, it's gonna happen tomorrow, and probably won't happen tomorrow either.